Hello y'all, welcome to my channel. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Push it now. Today we have not one, not two, but three scroller boxes. And these are the July, August, and September. Thank you, scroller box. Let's open up the first one. Let's see the goodies. What we got. Of course, we have the scrollers in. We have the feature artist Christina Kwan. And a pack of paper or a pad of paper. The materials we got, the art supplies we got. Oh, a sweet a magic color, which is acrylic ink. This is the August scroller box. And let's see what we got. Another scroller scene. Feature artist Julie Avisar and another pad of paper drawing paper and let's dig into the goodies got another sweet which I won't eat but I collect them sticker and oil pastels, pencil, little stump, and September scroller box. Ooh, an eraser. Another eraser. Let's see. We're gonna be comparing this later on. Scroller zine. Looks like we got some markers. Let's see who the feature artist is. T. Jurassic or Te Tea Jurassic. And some frisk paper, cartridge paper. And the sticker. Yep, we got some markers, a sweet, and a pencil. Let's put all the sweets away. Swatchy Swatchy this ink I have never worked with acrylic ink before so let's see how this turns out I'm just gonna use a tiny drop piece of swatch I do not want to waste it if it's really good well, we have yellow and cyan and magenta they dry pretty quickly, so if you are going to be doing gradients with water, you can do that, but it has to be done like really quick. It dilutes really nicely, it blends really easily. Created this orange, and then a really dark purple, and a very bright green let's see how it blends cyan with orange did great yellow to orange did great green to yellow perfect cyan to green really good purple to cyan very sweet very nice blendability the fine liners we got are pretty good this is the point eight and 
this is the point four. And a point two. I am trying them on top of the painting, on top of the acrylic, because I found out from my last video that not all the fine liners work on top of all the paint. So these ones work pretty neatly on top of the paint. Let's see if they smudge, and they do. So all my wet uh, parts or all my wet uh, has to be done before I fine line. Fine liner is gonna have to be on top of the paint. I mean this much is not that much but I don't want my painting to look dirty. Let's create some skin color. Very nice. Some darker shade of gray. Very cool. And another tone of skin color. Beautiful. I love these ones. Wow, I'm impressed. These are the July 22 scroller box materials. Out of all the boxes, I mean, I love all the boxes. I really enjoy working with them all, but out of all the boxes, these acrylic um, inks are my favorite. These are some oil pastels. I love working with oil pastels, by the way. It's graffito, blending with the stump. They blend good. And if you don't want your stump to be like super dirty and transfer, what you can do is just use a sharpener and just sharpen it with a regular sharpener. I'm testing this pencil, it writes great. And this is the Stedler 5B, it's very soft. I love it. Eraser, erasers, and let's sketch something really quick to test the erasability because when I erase my sketches, I do not want to erase all the way. I want to erase just enough so I can still see the picture. And this is the September scroller box materials or at art supplies eraser erases great it's an A plus I actually like this eraser better than the previous boxes these are some pit markers I have never heard of pit markers before they look like alcohol markers with a brush nib and a fine nib. They are super pigmented. They go on the paper really nicely. And they are made of India ink, guys. Who would have known? I love working with India ink too but I have never used India ink in the form of a marker. Let me test these fine liners on top of the markers and the smudgeability. They smudge a little, but it's fine. I can always use the fine liner on top of the marker if needed. I have created this little guy picking up a ladybug from a flower in a cliff long time ago so this is what I am going to be using this is the illustration let's sketch it really quick and this is the drawing paper that I will be using 
I tried the acrylic paper, but it was way too texture for my liking. So I will leave that paper more for a more impressionistic uh, type of painting, more like a, a very free brush stroke instead of uh, very defined lines like I'm like what I'm doing right now in these illustrations. So I am going to begin with my favorite uh, supply in these boxes. These inks are just outstanding. They blend so well and the colors are so pure. It's just magnificent. I created some brown using uh, beginning or starting with orange and then I added cyan to it to make it into the brown. I added a little bit more yellow and it kind of became a green. Let's add some more orange and now I have my skin tone. I know it looks a little darker right now but it is going to turn out really cool. Believe me, trust the process. It may not look as great right now, but at the end with all the colors together, when all the whole picture comes together, you're gonna see that this skin color suits my picture perfectly. this little part I do not like mixing way too much paint because it's wasteful but sometimes I find myself in the predicament that I didn't mix enough paint so how do you gauge the amount of paint that you need how do you do it I mean, I do not find easy to mix the same color twice. So it happens. It happens that I do not make enough paint. Like that gray, I don't think I, for the shorts, I don't think I can recreate it. gonna have a second coat of the magenta for the shirt and of course I didn't realize that I was a bit out of focus but I'm trying to paint the little green patch that uh, that will house the flower where the ladybug is and I am um, sure that I love these uh, acrylic inks because they work a lot like watercolors and you know me guys you know me I am a watercolor person I absolutely love working with watercolors look at these colors look how vibrant they are but they are not so bright that it just hurts your eyes they're just vibrant enough to give the picture life and look at this brown I love that color by the way and let me tell you about the inspiration for this picture all my pictures have a meaning behind them, of course, and this little boy right here is trying to save the ladybug that is at the edge of a cliff. Does he really need to save the ladybug? No. Does he want to? Of course he wants to. Although the ladybug can fly away. But 
what story can I write for this little guy fine liners are working really good look at that tiny face I thought about uh, making his eyes black I thought that maybe the brown in his eyes look a little funky but I want that expression in his face I know that the color looks a little funky but the expression of, on his face is priceless and I didn't want to risk damaging that expression if I color the eyes black let's make a shadow take advantage of the smudginess of the marker of the India ink marker or the pit marker to shadows to not to shadows to make shadows get some white for the flower and to add some dimension to our picture or to my picture I am going to use oil pastels and smudge them or blend them just to give it a kick an extra oomph to the picture let's try this little stick and see if it creates shadows well it doesn't let's just use blue I am trying to use all the materials but it is not gonna be possible so I am trying to use as many materials as I can so the picture looks wonderful and looks completed and again I'm out of focus again 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 it's okay I am trying to recreate right here a not recreate but create a um, layered effect trying to create something that looks a lot like the Grand Canyon oh all that layer of dirt upon layer upon layer is what I am trying to make over here of course it does not look any like the Grand Canyon but it looks like my Grand Canyon. I think it looks very nice. And to finish off this video guys, I just wanted to tell you once more that the quality of the materials are great. These markers, pit markers, are very nice. They're vibrant, they go well on the paper, they have very good coverage. The oil pastels are oil pastels, they're messy. And if you know how to work with oil pastels, you're gonna love these. The, in, the India ink markers are my second favorite. Mm, the oil pastels are my third favorite and my most favorite is the acrylic ink I have never worked with acrylic ink before and to be honest I am not very much of an acrylic uh, painter but since these ones work a lot like watercolor I think I can use them uh, in other projects these are very nice and the fine liners are very cool too they 
the fine line they work great the other materials the erasers erase just fine they're erasers the pencils are great and overall very good three boxes thank you so much scroller box for sending me these materials they are super and I had so much fun testing them and creating this illustration with them in a few seconds you are going to see the final results this little guy turned out to be the most precious little thing and here it is yay guys do not forget to subscribe and give this video a like huge thumbs up and i will see you later alligators come art with me bye